Sports is about team bonding, winning, winning, and of course winning, but other than that, rivalries. That's right, Ty, there's two rivals in the pool who came together, not to battle each other, but to fight for a bigger cause. Gather round, boys over here. La Jolla High teacher, water polo, and swimming coach Tom Atwell is full of energy, which makes it hard to believe he's already dealt with three rounds of cancer. The American Cancer Society helped him through those tough times, and through that same organization, Coach Atwell heard Julia Garmo's story. Uh, Julia Garmo is a, uh, is a young girl who I met through my work with the American Cancer Society and really felt compelled to do something for her specifically. So I, uh, you know, we originally uh, did a game a couple years ago with Coronado and, uh, and raised some money. Um, and then uh, she actually recovered and uh, things were going very well for her. She went back to school and, and things were good. And then last year she had a relapse. You know, I'd been talking with, with Coach Peabody at Bishops for, you know, over the course of a year and a half, his mom had been sick and, and was battling cancer. So when, when Tom called, I'd had, I'd had enough, and I'd had enough experience with it, and I was going through it again, um, you know, with my dad. So it was kind of four people in my family, and, and I've known Tom probably for 20 years. I started coaching at Bishops as a head girls coach and an assistant for the boys in 1997, fall, and he was coaching at Scripps Ranch. And, you know, just struck up a, a colleagueship more than a friendship. Just and then I had heard about, you know, his his time with cancer and his wife's time with cancer, and, and it absolutely just crushed me. You know, and when he called me about his event and what he wanted to put on, I was just excited to help any way I could. This is something that shouldn't happen to anybody, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. To be honest, I can't even remember the score of the game. It was a very competitive game. I think we won the game uh, this year, but uh, but it was you know. Again, one of those things where the game became really just a, a microcosm of something bigger about life and, and uh, things that we're dealing with. I'm angry. Like I, I would just tell them I'm angry. I, I'm pissed, and I don't, you know, I don't really appreciate it. And I, I want to find a cure, and and I'm not good at that part. And he's good at that part. Like he's fighting hard to to help anyone and everyone that he can or comes in contact with. The Julio Garmo game is just the beginning for these two water polo teams fight to help fund research and awareness. Coach Peabody was blown away in his first experience with the game. I saw one of Tom's athletes, I think his name is Cole, Cole Ralston walked up and he had like three bucks in his pocket and he threw it into the box. Like, I mean, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, if we can't help Julia, then, you know, what are we doing? Like, Julia's inspirational story is something that Coach Atwell knows teaches an important lesson that students can't learn in the classroom or in the pool. 16-year-old mind tends to think the weight of the world's on them, you know, and when they get to see something like that, I think it helps put things in perspective for them that they, you know, they can overcome any challenges they're facing. One, two, three.